and welcome to Cinder Tutorials. In this video, we'll show you how to reconcile your transactions in QuickBooks Online. We'll show it on the example of Shopify and Stripe, but the flow will be the same for other platforms. So, stay tuned. First, let's see how to reconcile transactions if you have Shopify and Stripe as its payment gateway. Note that this reconciliation flow will be applicable to all similar cases. So if you only use one platform like Stripe or PayPal, or if you have a similar combination of e-commerce and payment gateways, the flow will be the same. First, in my case, I need to make sure that both Shopify and Stripe are connected to Cinder. It will be smart enough not to post any duplicates, so no worries. If you don't have all platforms connected yet, you can connect them here through Add Integration button. Next, once all the needed platforms are connected, we need to verify Cinder settings. For that, I click on the Settings tab on the left and select Stripe, as in my case, Stripe is the payment gateway for Shopify and Stripe will be sending payouts to the bank. So first, we gotta check that the Sales, Fees, Application Fees and Expenses tabs have the correct clearing account specified. In my case, it's a Stripe required for Cinder clearing account that Cinder created for me automatically. It can be the same account in your case, or it can be a similar account that you already had in your books. The main idea is to keep the same account in all four tabs here. And please note that the checking account cannot be selected here. Now Cinder will be syncing sales, fees, refunds and other transactions into this clearing account. Also, Cinder will be syncing payouts that Stripe makes to the bank. So in the Payouts tab, we need to have this toggle enabled. It can be called Payout, Settlements, depending on the platform. And once we have this toggle enabled, we should have the checking account selected here in the dropdown. So the bank to which Stripe sends payouts. And no worries, payouts won't be duplicating records under your bank feeds, but they are needed for one-click reconciliation. As the settings are good, we need to ensure Sure that for the months we're going to reconcile, everything is synced to QuickBooks. So in the platform transactions list, you can filter transactions by their status like that, select everything except for synced, skipped and synced with warnings. Apply that filter and you'll see if there is anything that's not synced yet. In my case, I haven't synced anything yet, so I will sync some transactions to show how exactly they affect the Stripe clearing account in the books and how to reconcile them. Before I sync, in my chart of accounts, I have this clearing account for Stripe, and it's empty as nothing was synced yet, so its balance is zero. I'll go back to Cinder and select all transactions for January except for the payouts, and then I hit Actions, Sync. Now, as those transactions are synced, let's see our clearing account. And we can see that the balance increased. So now the balance has shown me the net revenue, because as we sync transactions, we record sales receipts or invoice payments increasing the balance, just like in your real Stripe or any other platform. And as we record fees, refunds, we're posting expenses or refund receipts that are reducing the balance on this account, eventually showing you the net revenue. So the sum of your payouts. This number can be compared to your Stripe balance from time to time. So in my case, I have 30,000 for January and in Stripe, I can open reports, balance and for the month of January, I have this net balance change from activity showing me the same number and the same number can be found in the report below. I can also reconcile my clearing account. Since I'm reconciling January, I set the January 31st as the date, and in order to get an ending balance, I open those trade reports, copy this amount, and paste it into QuickBooks. Now, if I select all transactions, the difference will be zeroed out. So, I'm also good here. Now, back to Cinder. Let's sync the payouts. So first, I can filter the transactions by their type, so I can choose only payouts, apply that filter, I select them all in bulk, click Actions, Sync. And as they are synced, let's check our clearing account. And its balance is zeroed out, just like in my Stripe once all the money is sent to the bank. Payouts are recorded as transfers from this clearing account to your checking account. Same way it happens between Stripe and the bank in real life. In your Stripe, you can find the payouts under Balances, Payouts tab, so these are the exact transactions we just synced. And in the bank fit, we'll see the matches like this. So these are the matches between your actual deposits hitting the bank from Stripe and the same deposits that Cinder synced as the confirmation for the money received in order to clear the clearing account. 
So all you need to do at the end of the month is just to confirm the matches like that and you're ready to go. Now let's see how to reconcile cash transactions like Shopify, POS and manual orders, Square Cash and Check payments, and the same reconciliation flow will be applicable for platforms from which payouts are not synced due to some limitations on their site, such as Braintree, Clover, and so on. You can also check if the payouts are already synchronized for a certain platform in your Cinder account. Firstly, we need to verify Cinder settings, so I open them from the left side menu. For Shopify and Square cash transactions, you'll have additional settings by default at the top. Just make sure that such transactions are synced into a separate clearing account, like in my case, Shopify manual orders clearing and so on, so it's easier to reconcile. Such transactions usually don't have any fees, as they are either recorded manually or through a POS system, so only sales and refunds will be posted to QuickBooks. If you already have such clearing accounts in your books, you can also change them here. Now we gotta make sure that for the months we're going to reconcile, everything is synced to QuickBooks. So in the platform transactions list, you can filter transactions by their statuses like that, select everything except for synced, skipped and synced with warnings. Apply that filter and you'll see if there is anything that's not synced yet. In my case, I haven't synced anything, so I will sync some transactions to show exactly how they affect the clearing accounts in the books and how to reconcile them. So I will select all my Shopify transactions and then I will sync them to QuickBooks through the Actions Sync button. As they are synced, the balance is increased on the manual orders clearing account. And since there are no payouts to be synced for them, we will need to configure a bank rule in QuickBooks so the balance on the clearing account would be cleared to zero. And so you could have matches in your bank feed automatically. In order to do that, we open the bank feed. Here I already have four Shopify payouts for those cash transactions we synced. So let's configure the rules so they would be matched automatically. We click on the rules tab at the top and then new rule. Give it a name and set the following conditions. Money in, then choose your checking account where you receive payouts for your cash transactions. There can be several checking accounts at the same time as well. Then we specify the condition for your payouts. The most frequent case is the one where such payouts have the name of the platform in the description. Like in my case, there is the word Shopify in them, so I can set the condition for the description to contain the word Shopify. And then we choose transfer and select our clearing account. In my case, that's going to be a manual order required for Cinder clearing account. You can leave this auto add toggle on, meaning that once Shopify payout for cash transactions hits the bank, it will go to the categorized tab in the bank fit right away. If you disable this toggle, you'll have the matches in the bank fit in the for review section and you'll just need to confirm them in a couple of clicks. Also, you can test the rule by clicking this button. And in my case, I have four payouts to be matched. So here it's showing me that these four payouts are applicable to the rule. So we're good. Let's hit save to save the rule. Now in my bank feed, I can see that these four payouts were matched. So they're no longer in the four review section, but they are shown under the categorized section over here. Also, in my Shopify manual order clearing account, the balance is zeroed out, as QuickBooks created the transfers to be matched against the bank fit as soon as we saved the row. And now, every time I'll have payouts to my bank for such cash transactions from Shopify, the rule will create transfers in my clearing account, zeroing it out, and I'll have such matches too. In case you have different cash transactions like point of sale orders, cash, check payments and so on, configure this rule in a similar way for each clearing account. Now you know how to reconcile your transactions in QuickBooks. You can also find plenty of useful guides and video tutorials in our knowledge base and for any additional help just apply to us via chat, phone or email as we're available 24-7. Have a good journey with Cinder!